Tired, weary, frustrated? What would you be doing if you weren't raising children alone? What's stopping you from living your best life now? On Solo Moms Talk, I discuss with solo mothers the challenges you face raising children alone. So if you're a working solo mom dealing with independent children, insensitive bosses, weight and health issues, or even debt collectors, join us as we discover your path to get and stay healthy, increase your income, and live with joy and purpose. In this battle of life. Hard to keep your head above the water. So win this fight. Hello, solo moms. So this is my second time recording this because the first time I forgot to hit record. But anyway, I wanted to take time out to talk about some things that I've been reflecting on lately. And The other day, I was having a conversation with someone, and I was telling them, you know, briefly about my life, where I've been, where I've traveled to, and stuff like that. And she turned around, and she looked at me, and she said, you know, you're gifted. You know, you have a lot of opportunities, and, you know, you you should take note of that. And I stopped and thought about it, and I said, hmm. She's right. You know, when I think about my life, where I've been, where I've lived, where I've traveled to, who I've met, who I've spoken to, I realize that I have this big, wide open world that's available to me if I make use of it. Use of it. I also realize that giving thanks, you know, a lot of people talk about that like it's right, you know, like it's something simple, but it's not. I learned to change my perspective. This is what this this talk is about today, changing how we think about things, how we label things, changing how we understand and take on things. And this conversation and and what the lady said was one of the many things in a string of things that's been happening to me over the course of the last few months. Um, Since about mid-2022, I've been been forced to change my perspective on a lot of things. So a lot of times you might, you know, be in a situation where you're hurt or somebody says something, you know, against you or something didn't go as planned. And we tend to get upset and we blame somebody else or blame ourselves even. And the negative self-talk sets in. And we don't give ourselves time to process what happened because we are so busy losing energy over, you know, what happened. We are so busy thinking the wrong things over what happened. And so we don't give ourselves the opportunity to be free to solve the problem, to solve the challenge, to lessen the struggle. And so I want to encourage you today. I'm encouraging you today, Solo Mom, to change your perspective on your life, what's happening in your life. You are raising children alone, and it it doesn't really matter that there's, you know, a co-parent most of the time because the feeling of being alone, of aloneness in parenting, being a mother, it's it's not it's not an it's not an imagined thing. It's real. You know, somebody like to say the struggle is real. Parent mothering alone is real. And it happens even when you're married. Because there's some, some 
marriages, you know, you are the only parent the child is used to because sometimes it, it's unavoidable and sometimes it's, you know, because people don't care enough to involve themselves in their children's lives. So I know that it can be a struggle to... It can be a struggle to focus on what's important when there's so many things going on that's out of your control. You're juggling so much. You have so much to think about and think through. And, you know, and then, you know, it's always, they always seem to come at once. You know, there's a problem with your kid at school or, you know, a problem with finances or problem at work with some jerk. And it, it's always something, and sometimes they come in batches. <laughs> it's like somebody decided it was, was your, you were the target today. And so I want to encourage you to look at things differently. Take some time to observe what's going on before you react you know, somebody say something, you know, the co-parent didn't show up when they said they should. You know, they didn't, the money didn't show up when it should. You lost something, you know, that you should have gotten. Change the way you, you react to that negative thing that happens. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame anybody else. Just, just take some time to pull in, to draw into yourself and, 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 and look, you know, look over, observe the situation, what happens, you know, because if you think through it clearly, you'll make a different decision and you possibly will make better decisions. It doesn't happen all the time, but... I, I believe fully that you will make better decisions if you can think clearly. And when your brain isn't tied up, burning energy and worry and fear and anger and frustration, then it is refreshed and have the time and energy to create solutions, to come up with better, better things, better thought processes. You know, I was talking to um, my sons the other day and they had some th things going on and they were talking about it and I was listening to them and it came to me because this is the season where I'm thinking of give thanks for what you have because, you know, one, it could be taken away and two, there are people who have less, they're struggling with, with less and so... You have so much you could be thankful for. If your child is healthy, you have a lot to be thankful for. There are people with children with cancer and, and different things that, you know, is so heartbreaking. So if your child is healthy, that's something to be grateful for. If you are healthy, it's something to be grateful for. You know, I was interviewing a lady the other day, uh, Mary Henderson, and I like to ask my guests what they're grateful for today. And I said today because I want to know what's first on their mind. And usually they'll get into some story about lots of different things they're grateful for. But this one lady, Mary Henderson, she said, I'm grateful that today I can breathe. And, and that gave me goosebumps because... It's one of the things I talk about regularly is that I'm walking and I'm breathing. And that's a lot to be thankful for because there are those who struggle with breathing, you know. So it it's, might seem trite, but when you shift your focus and start to give thanks, start to be grateful, refocus to the positive, Research, research supports that that gives your brain something 
part of when you give your brain the positive things to think about, it gives you a feeling of well-being. Try it sometime if you're not doing it. Make it a regular practice just to give thanks. And one of the other things I like to talk about is changing perspective. And this is what this episode is about. How to change perspective so that you can live a better life, a more joy-filled life. Because when it comes down to it, life is not never going to be perfect. Nothing's going to fall into place 100% of the time. There's always going to be a detour. And there's always going to be something that didn't go the way you planned. So in order to preserve yourself, you got to preserve yourself. you got to change your perspective. And so I was telling my sons, I started to tell the story that I was telling my sons. I said, you know, I pointed out several things in each of their lives. And I said, these things, you know, other people don't have. And, you know, these things some people would kill for. So shift your perspective. It doesn't change that that situation is there. What it does, it frees your mind to be strong, to be healthy, so you can come up with solutions to those problems, to those situations that are not ideal for you. So the next time the co-parent call and says they can't make it, or the next, and you had plans, right? Or the next time they just didn't show up at all. Or the next time the light bill is twice what it should be. Hello, solo moms. Do you feel isolated and alone in your parenting journey? Are you tired of facing the challenges of solo parenting by yourself? If so, then I have the perfect solution for you. Join Solo Moms Connect, the ultimate support group for moms raising children on their own. As a solo mom of three adult sons, I want to provide a safe and welcoming space where you can connect with other moms, share your experience, and find and find answers to your questions. So don't go it alone. Be part of a thriving community of solo moms. Join Solo Moms Connect today and get the support and guidance you need to succeed as a solo parent. Join us today and be a part of a community of strong and resilient solo moms. Solo Moms Connect, building stronger communities one mom at a time. So don't wait, click the link below and join us today. Step back, take a breath. Breathing is unlimited. Breath is unlimited. Take a breath and Breathe deeply. Now let it all out and allow yourself to observe what just happened. And don't get you, you know, I, I grew up in England, I used to hear them say, there was a song that said, don't get your knickers in a twist. And so I'm asking you, Sola Mom, when things begin to fall apart, don't get your knickers in a twist. Well, Walk it back. Take some time to breathe, to think. I remember when I was um, working in downtown, downtown Manhattan, and I lived in Brooklyn at the time. And sometimes work would be rough mentally, spiritually, physically. It was rough. And rather than head downstairs to the subway, I would just walk out on the street and kept walking, walk right across the Brooklyn Bridge. Some days I'd walk all the way home, five, seven miles, because I am thinking and I am allowing my day to, to roll off me before I enter my home and take on more stuff. So that was my self-care for dealing with the hard day, the harsh days, was to take a mental walk. So if you have the time, that's something I would encourage you to do. If you drive to work, 
Drive, stop down the street before you head home. Sit in your car and take a moment to do some deep breathing and some thinking and some introspect. Just just keep yourself focused on you for a moment or on, on the breathing and uh, on, on solutions instead of those problems that plague you. So I'm asking and encouraging, change your perspective. If there isn't enough money, change your perspective. If things aren't right in your world, change your perspective. If you change your perspective, I am absolutely certain that you will find a way, you will find the solutions you need you, your brain will start thinking of ways you can solve those problems, whether it's going to talk to someone else or it's finding it within yourself to come up with the solutions. So I wanted to talk about that because I know it's something that I've struggled with in the past and it's something that's been on my mind a lot lately, changing my perspective, changing how I look at things and, you know, I, and, I, and I'm not saying, I, I need to reiterate that if you change the way you think about something or you react to something, that it changes the situation. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily do that, right? Because, but it can. I mean, if somebody upsets you and you rather than argue with them, you step back and you know, give, give things some space, some breathing room, give yourself some breathing room because this is all about you. Then you avoid an argument and you avoid things from escalating. And this is not about avoiding situations because if there's something that needs to be addressed, when you are calm and centered, then you can approach the person or the situation in a wise way. So changing your perspective allows you to have the positive energy to make wise decisions, to come up with good solutions that work for you. And so I, I've, I've done it a lot of times, but... I think I've been more intentional about it these days. I don't talk a lot anymore. I choose to not speak as much because I realize that talking only wastes energy unless the talking is helping someone or a situation. So, you know, the Bible says a still tongue keeps a wise head. And I'd like to adhere to that, to because wisdom is one of the things that I pray for and it's something that I crave is to be wise and make wise decisions. And when you are upset and angry and always busy and on the go, it's hard to make wise decisions. And the reason you want to be intentional about the perspective, changing perspective and making wise decision is because your decision doesn't only impact your lives. It impacts the lives of your children, whether it's from what they observe and don't think you can hide anything from kids, you just can't. And, but also, what they hear. So one way to change that perspective is to remove negative self-talk from your life. You know, I sometimes find myself when something goes wrong, it's like, I knew it. I knew it wouldn't go all right. I knew it wouldn't work out. No, I didn't know, but you know, that's, the, that's what I want to tell myself, that I knew it because it makes me feel better, right? But the, the better thing to do is to observe. You know, I don't even have to talk and say things in that moment. 
So I encourage you, and no, I'm going on about it, but it is such a big thing because mindset is everything. And our mind controls how we react to things. And we have to take back control of our lives from our minds. We can't allow our minds to run our lives. And so when we make it intentional to change our perspective, to change how we think about things, to change how we observe things, to change the negative self-talk. And I say, if you can't say anything good, don't say nothing. Just keep calm, keep quiet, do some deep breathing, you know, and just take a moment for yourself. Protect yourself, care for yourself so that you can be strong, so you can make wise decisions. And your children will benefit because they will see a strong mom. That's what strength is about. Strength is not yelling and screaming and, and showing you have loudness in you. Strength is when you, you've, you've made good decisions from a place of wisdom. That's strength. And so I encourage you to change how you think about situation. It's change how you act and react in situations. Change how you observe what is happening in your life. Change how you observe the negatives that are happening in your life. And when you do, when you change your perspective, you will see how you free, you free your mind, you free, you free your brain. Because it's not, their brain is not busy trying to protect you. It's busy helping you to come up with solutions. And so, um, I hope you, this was of benefit to you. So the mom might be liked it. And if you do, if this helps you at all, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Um, you, I'll leave my number below. You can call me, text me. I'm on WhatsApp. Or you can send me an email. I'm available um, for mentoring or just a chat. You know, if you just want to talk, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, change your perspective and you'll change your world. you see. I'm excited to share that Solo Moms Talk is now on YouTube. Check out these interviews on our new channel, Solo Moms Talk TV. There you will actually see the interaction between myself and my guests. You will also find bite-sized clips of daily inspiration to help you manage the struggles of everyday life. So click Solo Moms Talk TV below to watch now.